Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, December 21st. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. The Orleans Parish District Attorney is launching a review of cases that were handled by Lafayette Judge Michelle Odenay during her time in New Orleans. Odenay was an assistant district attorney in Orleans Parish in the 1990s. The current DA, Jason Williams, has ordered a full review of cases that were prosecuted by Odenay. In a statement, Williams says in part the language attributed to Judge Odenay is deeply concerning to any person who genuinely cares about fair outcomes in our criminal justice system. In light of the New Orleans review, we did reach out to Lafayette DA Don Landry to see if any such review of Odenay's cases here would be conducted. The DA declined comment, citing his office's involvement in the criminal case against the man accused of breaking into Judge Odenay's vehicle the night she was captured on video making racist remarks. And that video has Odenay on suspension from the state Supreme Court after it was leaked last week. In it, she and another person in her home can be heard using a racial slur and laughing while looking at home surveillance video of the botched burglary. The state Supreme Court is also investigating the circumstances surrounding that video. Since last week, several groups and elected officials, including Governor Edwards, have said Odenay should resign. Still no word on what caused yesterday's house fire in Youngsville. The vacant home on Bonan Road caught fire early Monday morning. It took firefighters more than two hours to get the fire under control. Eleven water tankers from other agencies had to bring in water because there was no fire hydrant near the home. No one was injured. In light of the surge in cases in the state, Governor Edwards has extended the state's COVID public health emergency. That includes a provision allowing all state government agencies to require masks. Today, the Department of Health reports 1,729 new cases and three deaths. 265 people are in the hospital. And in Acadiana, there are 218 new cases reported, but no new deaths have been reported since yesterday. Lafayette's Shop with a Cop program returned this year. Lafayette law enforcement and students joined up together this morning at the Target on Louisiana Avenue. The event is funded through donations by Crime Stoppers, the Middlebrook Foundation, and other partners. Each child had $100 to go shopping with. You know, everybody can get together at the same time. Uh, Lafayette PD and also the Sheriff's Department uh, and come together and giving these kids something that they may or may not get uh, during the Christmas time. And to, to be able to experience that was amazing. I loved it. I hope we can do it again next year. But to be able to see the kids' faces when they go through and they, they buy something that they wouldn't have been able to have that year, it, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic feeling. It really, really is. Let's check in on the forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Hey, Rob. Hey, Jim. Well, the first night of winter actually feeling like that across Acadiana with clear skies, light winds. It's going to get cold by tomorrow morning. Coldest readings we've seen so far for this uh, fall and early winter season. Temperatures getting down into the mid-30s Lafayette, but lower 30s near freezing northern portions of Acadiana. So protect the tender vegetation. Make sure the pets have a warm place to stay as well. Cool for our Wednesday afternoon but temperatures warm up into the 60s and another chilly one tomorrow night right down near 44 or low but as high pressure shuttles off to the east we're going to see that return flow so getting milder as we head into Thursday lower 70s on Thursday upper 70s on Friday and then we'll be heading toward 80 degrees as we head into the weekend and that's reflected in the forecast here temperatures right near record highs starting this weekend and continuing it looks like for all of next week as well so Stay warm for tonight and be prepared for warm weather as we get closer to Christmas as well. That's it for news and weather for right now. We'll have more in another segment.